and welcome to Tuesday's 5.30 show. So poor old Andy Murray, yeah, eh? did you I watch know. it last night? I did, I actually watched it in a pub. Uh, and unsurprisingly. I obviously wear, <laughs> cheeky, I wear glasses obviously to see. <laughs> unsurprisingly. Yeah. I forgot my glasses, so the TV screen was quite far away, so I spent the whole first hour going like that, then I gave up. Well, he won. Oh, great news. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he didn't. Not that damn. <laughs> <laughs> so coming up on tonight's programme, the stars of the controversial new film comedy, plus after the biggest game of his life, we speak to Andy Murray's gran and he lost the game. Oh, in Las Vegas, the next big Scottish band set to top the chart. Uh, but first tonight, breast is best when it comes to babies, we all know that. But does it matter just who the milk comes from? Well, a new documentary broadcast tonight challenges society's attitude to women who breastfeed children that are not their own. You can let us know what you think about this. The details are on your screen right now. In a moment, we'll be speaking to a midwife and a mum who is currently breastfeeding about the public reactions they face. But first, I went out to ask Scottish mums if they'd consider feeding another woman's child. Other people's breast milk is already controversial and it hasn't even been aired yet. But when the subject matters as close to the bone as this, then it's no wonder. Why did you decide to be a wet nurse? People who give it away, I could probably produce a pint of milk a day. <laughs> and people who even feed each other's babies. Halfway through a feed. Do you want mine? <laughs> right up until the mid 19th century, people in Britain paid wet nurses to feed their babies. Today, wet nursing is making a comeback, either as an arrangement between friends or in the US, there's reports that rich women with implants are seeking out wet nurses to feed their children. So the question is if we're happy to drink this milk, why is someone else breastfeeding our babies such a taboo? I don't really agree with it. I just think it's a bonding thing, a personal thing with you and a child. For, for myself, it's such a personal thing. I breastfed my both boys and I, uh, I would never have allowed someone else to breastfeed my children. And I understand that there is a need in some places around the world for that to happen, but no, personally, um, I'd rather breastfeed my child myself or give the bottle, because the bottle's just as good as well. I don't find it thing to give your baby to somebody else to know no I don't agree with that at all I'm sorry but if the baby was really ill or you know and you really needed some nutrients that only breast milk provided as long as you maybe knew their medical history then I feel that yeah but I would need to know the background I couldn't just say yes you could you know you could feed my baby if I didn't really know who it was well, let's talk more about this. Joining us now is independent midwife Cassie McNamara and mum of four, Catherine Strain, who's here with her son Mason. Welcome to you both. Uh, let me ask you first, Cassie. Um, do you see much of this around women nursing children that's not their own? I don't think it's, it's incredibly popular. It does go on and I think people don't generally talk about it because precisely for the reaction that that people t tend to get about it but it's not that common but it certainly does go on. Do you think because I've, I mentioned you know back in the 19th century that's when it finished before people used to do that and then it was bottle feeding there was a preference do you think it's just cyclical you know and it's just a trend that it's going to come back round again? I don't know if it's so much that I think it hasn't really gone away and I think it is really probably because of the documentary that Kate did that's very you know, very public right now. I don't think it's becoming more and more popular. I think it's just as it always has been. Why actually. do you think people have this extreme reaction to it? Because it really seems to disturb some people. I think it's really down to, we have a culture where people see breasts as, as purely a, a, an erotic part of somebody's body rather than a functional part of somebody's body. And as much as their, their function is to breastfeed a baby. And it's quite interesting when you look at people like um, Katie Price or Pamela Anderson who have these, these surgically enhanced breasts which really mimic the breasts of a breastfeeding mm. woman but that's seen as very sexual rather than, look, she might be breastfeeding the baby. Well, Catherine, you're a mum and you've got Mason there. You've breastfed all your children mm -hmm. and you're still breastfeeding Mason. Is, would you feel comfortable sharing your milk or maybe giving Mason to a friend for them to breastfeed him? I would absolutely, definitely share my milk with another baby. I don't think I would let Mason feed from someone else. Why is that? Um, because he's mine and that's the main thing that I love about breastfeeding. It's the bond that you get between you and your baby. Um, and I don't think I'd be happy for someone else to have that closeness and bond unless it was a really extreme so circumstance. So maybe your sister or something my like sister, that, that would yeah, be okay. Yeah, my sister for sure. Um, and any kind of blood tie. but. 
but not, not somebody else. Although it's pretty much the same as milk banking, you know, putting your, um, sub expressing your milk and another baby, maybe a, a preterm baby getting your milk. It's just, it's just the contact. It's the contact. Yeah. I wouldn't mind, I would absolutely be fine if he was drinking milk, breast express milk from, from someone else, from a bottle, but it's the, it's the closeness that that I would have a problem with, probably. It's, it's interesting how we, we aren't actually bothered by babies having cow's milk, baby's cow's milk out of a bottle. But some people even are bothered that a, a baby could have expressed breast milk from a human out of a bottle. That really bothers them. But it doesn't bother them that they, you could have the, the, the milk from a different species. Your baby could have that. That's, mm -hmm. you know, I think that is actually very interesting. And there are milk ba banks in existence where, yeah. where women yeah. can, can give their milk over to, to mothers who need it already, aren't mm -hmm. they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, a lot of um, hospitals have them and special care baby units yeah. and it's a vital resource yeah. that has probably helped save and protect the, save the lives of and protect the health of lots of premature babies. So from a midwife's perspective, if you maybe came across somebody who couldn't breastfeed, and they were willing to consider using someone else's breast milk, you know, actually someone else feeding their child. <laughs> Hi, Mason. Would you recommend that rather than using a bottle? I would, I would think really it's a very personal choice. And I wouldn't be saying to somebody, do this or do that, because that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. um, I would give them the information. And really, I think that was probably in that situation, you'd probably find it be a woman that had somebody in mind or had considered it in advance. It wouldn't be a bolt out of the blue to her. And I, I wouldn't be recommending that she gave her baby to somebody else to feed rather than, than herself. Let me just quickly ask you, you're still breastfeeding Mason yep. at the moment, he's 19 months? 19 months, and yeah. What kind of reaction do you get to that from people? Um, quite different reactions, but tend to be quite strong, why are you still breastfeeding him? You know, you shouldn't really be feeding him now, and <laughs> but it's he's important getting big. To you. It's, it's absolutely your choice, important, of course yeah. it is, why wouldn't I? Okay, well, he's been incredibly well behaved well done, today, <laughs> so it obviously works well done, Mason. Thank, <laughs> thank you both very much. Thank indeed. you. Thanks. Now, drug dealing and murder, not exactly the subject you'd expect to find in a comedy, but that's exactly the focus of the storyline in Pineapple Express. It's the latest film from the makers of Superbad and Knocked Up. So is everything fair game when it comes to comedy on screen nowadays? Well, for the 5.30 show, Grant caught up with the stars of the movie.